Okay, here's the mission for today. Take this scrap wood and turn it into shelves for our bathroom counter that my wife wants. So these pieces are less than a quarter inch thick and the vertical feather board from Mag Switch helps keep them from chattering when I push them through the blade. You don't really need to. Uh, the one closer to the blade is really going to be enough. Now for a while I glue up and size these pieces for the shelves uh, and rather than talk the whole time I'll just play the build footage and chime in when there's something worth talking about. I needed to get this project done fast, but when I first drew up the design, it was just so boring that I felt like I could hardly justify even doing it. There's nothing inspiring about it, and I didn't think the video would be very interesting. I didn't think it'd have a very good thumbnail. I was just feeling very uninspired until I hit on this very, very simple piece of, I don't even know if you'd call it inlay because all I inlay into it is epoxy, but it takes advantage of the placement of the shelves up against a mirror and the half circle that I cut into the top of them will be mirrored and create a, a circle when it's all together. It's a little thing, but it was enough to get me excited, and I thought it was enough to make for a decent thumbnail. So, you know, sometimes it's the little things that can pull you into a project. Okay, weird joinery time. I am going to call this epoxy moat joinery. This is my technique for attaching the legs to the top. I expect this never ever to catch on as a technique or a term, you know, but uh, still going for it. So 
Right now I'm creating the outer portion of the moat, which is essentially a visible apron on the top of the shelf. Uh, and I'm sealing this all up with CA glue to hold it in place and also make it epoxy tight so none of the epoxy that I pour in the moat uh, is going to leak out. And then I flush it all up and, and make it look nice on the outside. And then the inside of the moat is done in almost the same way. I just kind of glue it up first and then stick it in place on the inside bottom of the shelf. Now the legs get what's very similar to a traditional tenon cut into them, except that the mortise is going to be formed by the epoxy when I pour it in the moat that I made. So I just use CA glue again to tack the legs in place. Uh, and then pour epoxy in the moat and everything is held very rigidly. It's fast and it worked well, so, you know, no regrets. This epoxy that I'm using is from Total Boat. They sent this to me quite a while ago along with a bunch of their other products to show off in videos and I haven't done that yet because I'm a terrible person. But it worked really well. I'm happy with it. And this sure was a lot easier than trying to cut some perfect inlaid piece to fit in this half circle. And I think looked just as good or better because the epoxy gives you that little bit of depth. Um, thanks to all the River Table folks for putting this kind of technique in my head. I think it worked really well. Uh, Wenge, I don't know why you collect every little piece of junk in your pores and give me slippers. I don't like you. But what I do like is this Total Boat varnish in a bag, which is a great concept. This is something I wish Finnish companies would have done a long time ago uh, because you can pour just a little bit out and not worry about dipping your brush in and getting stuff in the, in the main container. And you don't need oxygen, you just squeeze the air out when you put it back together. Uh, and on top of that, it dries in an hour and it's ready for another coat without any sanding. So it really does everything I'd want to finish to do. Now after that first coat of epoxy, I clean up the imperfections in that epoxy pour, get it all nice and flat before putting a final coat of finish on the whole thing and putting it in our bathroom. Uh, and then going all the way around uh, the base to make that seal watertight or epoxy tight in this case, uh, because the way I, the way I do this is I had to save that voice over for you. Hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.